Welcome to a service of commemoration of the faithful departed, otherwise known as All Souls Day. This will give you an opportunity to pause, to reflect, and remember those whom you love but have died. And most of all, to ask God to continue to care for them until we all rise with Jesus in glory. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear our prayers and comfort us. Renew our trust in your Son, whom you raised from the dead. Strengthen our faith that all who have died in the love of Christ will share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, but as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. 
When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we shall see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now, faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. Here ends the lesson. Losing a loved one is one of the most terrible things that life can throw at you at any time and at any year. It can bring up some very unexpected emotions. I once heard on the radio someone describe the sense of frustration at the loss of his parents. He loved them, no less than he did before, but they had gone away without leaving him a forwarding address. He was cross that they have left him with no way to contact them and keep in touch. There was a case in the paper some years ago of a teenager who insisted that her nan was buried with her mobile so that she could keep texting her, just trying to keep in touch. Both examples seem like people were just being really illogical, but somehow capture that sense of communication being severed. We all search for ways to be near and share thoughts and feelings with the ones we have lost. It may be a particular special place, a song you share together, a familiar smell. It could be anything unexpected that brings someone to mind. It is so, so difficult. Nobody can really tell you how difficult it will be or what it will be like. Death is the only thing we can all be certain we will all face, but it doesn't mean we understand or can accept it. It just all seems so wrong to lose the bonds of love that have been built up over so many years. But the well-known reading we have just heard from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians reminds us just how fundamental love is to everything. It really is the greatest thing. Love never ends. It is important to try and hold on to the sure hope that the one you love is safe and that we will all be reunited one day. It may be a long wait, made even harder with the communication severed. But love has not been severed. Your loved one is still just that, loved. You don't love them any less, and if you believe the promises of Jesus, the one that you have lost loves you just as much as they always did as well. They are at peace and safe. It is frustrating and difficult. Life will never be the same without them but love will survive and will win in the end. We will now simply watch these candles burning. Pick a burning flame for each person you are remembering. Recall some wonderful memories of them and hold on to the promise that we will all be together again, whenever that is, but never ever stop loving them. They still love you. At the rising of the sun and its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the rustling of leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us, as we remember them.
Let us pray. Lord God, creator of all, you have made us creatures of this earth, but have also promised us a share in life eternal. According to your promises, may all who have died in the peace of Christ come with your saints to the joys of your kingdom, where there will be neither sorrow nor pain, but life everlasting. Amen. And now to him who is able to keep us from falling and lift us from the dark valley of despair to the bright mountain of hope, from the midnight of desperation to the daybreak of joy, to him be power and authority for ever and ever. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen.